one. And on top of that, we got more details. I talked yesterday on the pod about them having a premium live event in Perth, Australia. Uh, we have more details about it. It has been announced that WWE Elimination Chamber will emanate from Perth, Australia at the Optus Stadium. It will take place on February 24th, which will be obviously on the road to WrestleMania, uh, which will take place in Philly. Uh, I wanted to know how you feel about this. Uh, do you think that they're putting themselves in a very difficult position by having two big stadium events back to back, especially so close to WrestleMania? No. Uh, I will say this. All this money that's being put into the company, if I'm a talent, hey, bro, I need a raise. Like, we should be getting NBA contracts or something close to it at this point. No, NBA contracts. Yeah, no, no, not NBA contracts. But you should be getting a little bit somewhere close to what a wide receiver gets in the NFL at this point. Because, dude, it's too much money coming in. If I'm going to put all this work in, we traveling across the world, you know what I mean, doing these events once a month across the, you know, across the ocean and then come back here like the following week. Yeah, dog, I need that raise. And maybe they do. They have gotten raises already. We just don't know. But, yeah, I'm, that's all I'm going to say. If I'm the talent, hey, bro, I, I need to raise. Let me holler at you about something. I mean, I, I I stand with you on that position. Like th like you said, there's a lot of money coming in, uh, like too much money coming in, especially after the sale and now on the, the heels of these agreements. And then on top of that, them releasing all this talent. So you have the cap space to do all this stuff. Cap space, so to speak. It's a sports term. But you have all the cap space to, to give everybody a raise. And I feel like that should be just kind of a natural progression or a natural next step. Um, but yeah, like... I don't think that this event is going to set WWE back or put WWE back because by now, international premium live events are a part of WWE's rhythm, right? They've been doing stadiums now regularly for big events for about two years at this point. Clash of the Castle, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble. Um, the only the exception is really Survivor Series. And I think the only reason why they don't do a stadium Survivor Series is because it's brick, right? Like your November in Chicago is brick. Had it been 70 and sunny, we would be seeing this at uh, Soldier Field. But because it's not, it's, it's indoors. But I feel like WWE definitely has a rhythm when it comes to premium live events and it incorporates stadiums now. So I don't think this is going to set them set them back by any means i think this is actually going to do a lot of business for them considering there's going to be so many people that want to come because it's like it's a wrestlemania it's on the road to wrestlemania and it's outside of the country so it's like if you can't go to make if you can't make it to wrestlemania all right we can go to elimination chamber or something along those lines so i, I think it's going to be a good move i think that it's going to be a good show and i think that it's not going to put wwe in a bad position um this is just a, a quick 